The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the giants and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished <coughs> to all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, today since we had a lot of disturbance, we couldn't concentrate upon the previous tape, but we are going to look some of the things which Lord God Almighty wants to tell to us so that the real worthy and the work of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in the mental ministry of a pastor teacher could be thoroughly exemplified. Continuing the polity of privileges, which we can obtain by birth, by gift, or could be bought by money, it is a great privilege that you and I, as a believer in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, have been given this great bona fide gift. This great bona fide gift, followed by the polity of privileges, is of a great wealth that you and I, as a believer in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, can anything ever be deserved in Christ. We follow Christ not for the things to be accounted for silver, not for the things to be counted for gold. We don't care the gold, we don't care the silver, but we are here to care, to repeat and tell to you again and again, which is not an irksome or slothful to us, but rather for your safety, we are telling to you the remembrance of the importance of Bible doctrine. Many of the people have failed. What is the true meat that we can find in Jehovah? The true meat is nothing but to do the will of God and to finish the work wherewith he has sent us. The will of God is what? To make each and every believer to the perfection and completion of the knowledge of Bible doctrine. And what we have to complete? We have to see that they are not going to be stacking up in the stumbling blocks of their mentality, but rather causing them to know what are you in Christ? Where are you in Christ? And what is the purpose that Lord has chosen you to be in Christ? Therefore, dear brethren, it is of a great privilege for us to note again and again all the time that the word of the Lord has to be number one priority. Do you know why? Because Jehovah is with us as a mighty, terrible one. This great Jehovah is the one who is going to explain to us the truth. This great Jehovah, under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, is going to see that each and every believer can reach to that maximum perfection in the knowledge of the Lord. Many people have failed to understand this simple love biblical truth. Therefore, they have not been wise to inherit the glory because promotion is for the fools and the foolish promotion is what they are taking. That's what, dear brethren, we need to go for the only principle of the knowledge in Bible doctrine. Without the true knowledge of Bible doctrine, it is no way possible for us to come to know the truth, to understand the truth and learn the truth. The greater our failure to know that when your fear cometh, our Lord will mock. When your fear cometh as sudden destruction, and your calamity cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then you will call upon me, and I will not answer, because they have not seeked me early, and shall not find me, because they hated knowledge, and did not choose the fear of Jehovah. Therefore they would none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof, therefore they shall eat of the fruit of their way, and be filled with their own devices, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of the foolish shall cause them to perish. But whosoever here comes unto me, that is knowledge of Bible doctrine, shall dwell safely, and shall be at the rest from fear of evil. This is what, dear brethren, we are here mandating and telling to you again and again, the true importance of the knowledge of Bible doctrine. Greater the negligence to learn the knowledge of Bible doctrine, greater will be the negligence for us to note the true worthiness wherewith we have been called. It is not that we can exchange the glory of Lord for silver or for the people pertaining to the gold when Lord rises with us in the in, in the Isaiah chapter 13 verses 17 we need to understand that they were the men who did not count the silver nor valued gold but we have to be here in number one priority for Bible doctrine as a pastor teacher not for the silver or for the gold as the time is being more today we shall continue tomorrow and we shall look back into this work which our Lord explains us for the polytheism of privileges with our head and eyes closed the closing moment 
hands being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In order to be telling to Lord God the Father that to believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself you shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for us is for very simple believing in Christ, you shall be saved. And whereas for the believer, the great matter is to grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine, so that by searching the scriptures diligently, you shall come back to know and understand the word of the Lord. Greater the word of the Lord in our life, we don't require anything else than that in this earth. Greater the security in our life. Therefore, the one who shall find early the knowledge of Bible doctrine, we shall know what is the true purpose of Jehovah. And whereas for the pastor teachers, the great mandate is to carry Sothon Laga and herald the word in season or out of season, so that Bible doctrine, when it is number one priority in their life, and they could be the only exegetes of all time, wherewith they have come to do the will of God, and to finish the work of Jehovah. Many of the people that have come to this world do, do not know what is the true purpose of the world in the Christendom. They are just going around up and down. We need to be the men who, tell, who can rightly guide them and tell them what is the importance of their life, what is the importance of the purpose, what is the importance of the truth. Therefore, dear brethren, ponder over these things, because for a pastor teacher, the diamond from my witnesses in Wellington, the diamond from my witnesses is nothing but Bible in our hand. The diamond from my witnesses are the hearers. If there are no hearers, do not worry. Besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. But what is the ultima? The ultima is that we need to cover and completely reveal for them the completed canon of scripture. And therefore, dear brethren, if there are no hearers, do not worry. Besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. So which way you want to go, you decide. We shall come back and cover tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was given to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit will honor us in these things and make it a source of blessing and talents. Our in Lord, for we ask in Christ's name, Father. Amen.